For my part, I was anxious to visit the farm capital of the Confederacy there in Richmond. I wanted to see some of these now freed slaves. As I walked down the street with my son Ted, some of them even tried to kneel before me. No, get up. Do not kneel before me. Kneel only before God and thank Him for the freedom you shall enjoy hereafter. You see, now they were truly free. Not by the Emancipation Proclamation, which could have been declared null and void now that the war was over, but by the 13th Amendment, which would abolish slavery in the entire nation forever. I also visited the Confederate White House there in Richmond, and on the whim I sat in old Jeff Davis's chair. Even he was no enemy now. Well, that was six days ago, and they're still celebrating in the streets of Washington. Now tonight I have promised my wife Mary that I would take a break from all this war business and take her to the theater. It's been quite some time since we attended a theater. Two years ago we went to a play called The Marble Heart. There was a wonderful actor in that play. What was his name? Boo! John Wilkes Booth. After his performance, I sent a note backstage to see if I could meet with him. He declined. No surprise, over these war years, many people have come to hate me. But perhaps that will all change now that the war is over. My hope is that it will. I told Mary I was going to make tonight the first of many to enjoy the peace and prosperity that we can look forward to from now on. Well, I suppose I better hurry on. Mary Todd Lincoln is not a patient woman. You know, it's funny, she's the only thing I'm afraid of that I know can't hurt me. 